channel it is saturday it is very cold it is very snowy it is like 10 degrees outside right now it is very windy so i thought what a good video to give you this week would be a peter stone tour so i do have a lot of different ones that i got from when i started collecting them about i don't know 11 12 13 years ago and then i got some recently i've gotten some in between those years so I don't have a very good setup for them on display shelves because I just don't have anywhere to really put them that would like display all of them. So they were kind of pulled from different areas of our house. Um, so at some point I will show you my dilemma <laughs> with my placement of my horses and you'll see like why I always say I can't give you like a full good tour because I have no way to do that right now. So once I, once we move out of this house that we're in, we get a bigger house and I have a whole designated horse room, I'll have shelves everywhere. And I will have all my horses displayed. You'll get to see that really well. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is just show them to you individually. Because I did bring all of them in here with me. And there is about 20-ish. So just hang in there with me and let's begin. Alright. So the first Peter Stone that I ever got. Or one of the first ones. Is going to be Butter Pecan. It's on the Thoroughbred Mold. Um, this one is a Chestnut. So a very rich chestnut palomino looking horse. Um, he did come out of a series that was, um, I think it was something about like a food series because there was him. And then the next one that I received, which was my peanut butter chocolate. So as you can tell, food theme here. Two of my favorite things, pecans and peanut butter chocolate. I love Buckeyes. I love milkshakes. I love smoothies with this combination. So this horse was a perfect fit for that. And I did make his pretty blue halter and lead rope. So that was like one of the first ones I made. So it, it fits him pretty well. Actually, it's a little too big. It stretches closer to his mouth than it should. But anyways, he's wearing a blue halter. All right. Next, I got my Conquering Tide models. So I've got this Arabian. I cannot remember if this was Pandora or which one this was. But there's that one. And then following conquering, following her in the Conquering Tide series is going to be um, the Saddle Red. Again, I can't remember if this one may have been Pandora. I just, I don't remember their names because it's been so long ago. This is when Cinema Mew Mew was hot on um, YouTube and she did the whole series. She had her videos of it. And that's when Peter Stone took off, made her horses, and we were able to purchase them. And then I got Loki. So Loki is also the third Conquering Tide horse that I got. Now those are all the ones I did get. Those were my favorites. Um, looking back now, I kind of wish I would have gotten the rest of them. But, you know, I got these three and they are my favorites. So it is what it is, what it is. All right. Next I got... Who did... I started collecting my first design of horses. And if you guys don't know what that is, that's a program that Peter Stone puts out at the first of every month. Um, where they put out certain molds, certain collars, certain patterns. Um, so you get to basically design your dream horse. So my first ever horse I did was this Arabian. This is the, um, I think it was Chocolate Palomino is what they called it at the time. So that's the coloring on this one. And then I chose some uh, stockings for him. Yeah, for him. And then I gave him a stripe down the face. So a thin blaze. And then I also did a Palomino Morgan. So this one has got to be my favorite designer horse. Um, I absolutely love this one. Again, gave him some stockings, um, gave him a nice white blaze down the face. There's some dappling going on and brown eyes. And this one has got to be the favorite one in my whole Peter Stone herd. I just like, I fell in love with this horse as soon as I had received him. So that was pretty, pretty fun to get him. All right. And then following those guys, as we went on down the years, and they started doing um, the Super Bowl horses, Art of the Horse, Halloween, all of that. Oh, I thought my first horse was Butter Pecan, but I totally forgot it was not. It was a Morgan Mold named Reindeer Run. So that was this guy right here. So metallic -y blue. So the horse and rider are actually chasing a reindeer. That's the design this horse was given. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love the Morgan. I love this mold. And as you can probably tell, all of my horses are glossy, um, except one, which I will show you that one later. Okay, so following that one. Sorry, they're like everywhere, so I have to like reach for everybody. Okay, um, next is Heinz Rufflesperger, my 
football Steelers horse. See, I made a Steelers halter for him. So, and as you can tell, he's got um, footballs all over his rump. So if you're a football fan and you got this guy, what did you name yours? Mine is named after two famous Steelers players because me and my husband are big Pittsburgh fans, whether it's hockey, football, whatever. Um, so that is that guy. And then I got, let's see, I think after that one was my next design a horse, which was Peep. So one of my favorite candies is Marshmallow Peeps. And you may have seen this horse in my Q&A um, video that I did, but she is covered in Marshmallow Peep print. So very excited to get that one. Again, it was a designer horse. So even on the back and on the forehead. And I actually gave her blue eyes to go with her candy blue peeps. All right. Then we had another designer horse later on. This is another Morgan because as you can tell the theme here, I love the Morgans. Like they are just the cutest little horses. So this one I turned into an Appaloosa. Gave him a really short, 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 short sock. And then gave him some face markings as well. And this one does have brown eyes. So I was so excited to get this one. Okay. Next, as we go more recent, I got um, Art of the Horse, I think was next. It was 2022. So I got the Brindled Bandit. So he's kind of quarter horse-ish quarter horse -ish looking. A uh, very short tail, very short mane. Uh, was one of the winner's um, horses that was designed. And then following that one, I did get the almighty Thor, as you have probably seen in some of my photos posted to my Instagram. So he's got a nice, beautiful, flowy mane, rich coloring, just an all around gorgeous guy. This was my first Andy mold. So very happy to have him on this mold and to be the first. And this guy was very, <laughs> he was kind of pricey. So he is very special to me. Um, this is the one that I could not get in gloss. So he's the only Matt Peter Stone I have in my herd. And I'm sorry, I keep covering my face with them because I want you to see them. So, all right. Next, I got, let's see. We went to Briar Fest last year, one of the many years I've been. And I picked up Coolio. So Coolio is a paint horse who is running and is on the Remington mold. So very happy to get this one. Now, when I got him, I noticed like there were some spots on him where paint had been dripped or missing or something. So I asked Peter Stone, I was like, hey guys, you know, I picked him up from Equilocity. Would I be able to return him for some fix? You know, could you fix this for me? I circled what I had. They sent me a return label. They fixed him, shipped him back, and he's beautiful. So thank you, Peter Stone. I appreciate it. Okay. And then we have some more. My itty bitty Peter Stone. I literally almost forgot to bring this um this one in for the videos because he was kind of hidden in the bottom of my curio cabinet with some of my other horses so and he was designed after s'mores so he's graham crackers chocolate and marshmallow so he earned that name all right so then after those guys i ended up getting another art of the horse for 2023 i got staring gaze of faith so this horse um of course is on andy mold a very beautiful in person um, I did do an unboxing of this one, so there should be that. Some of these other Peter Stones, I'll show you, they were unboxed as well in videos. But I am just in love with the Andy mold. Oh, and also at Briar Fest, um, secondhand, I picked up a Palouse. So this one actually came with a bunch of Nan cards that he had won. So I've got him in the herd. I don't know if he'll ever be shown, only because I don't live show because there are no live shows around me. All right, then we have... We got Nature's Goddess. So you may have seen her in a recent video as well. I also did an unboxing of her. So she is also a big glossy draft horse. One of the newer molds Peter Stone came out with um, called the Bunny Mold. And then along came Chase or Cosmic Chaser from the 2023 Moonlight Madness event. Followed by Scully Lander, aka Child's Play. He also came from the 2023 Peter Stone Moonlight Madness event. And then last but not least in the herd of Peter Stones is Bloody Mary. So you guys know this girl. I just unboxed her. Still one of the favorites in my collection. So if I had to say, I would say that the favorite, it's a toss up between No Name 
and Bloody Mary. And yes, this one has, <laughs> I've had this guy forever and he still has yet to get a name. So if you think of any names for him, you know, let me know. He, he needs something. He, he just can't be no name for the rest of his life. Okay. So as you guys know, um, Peter Stone did end up retiring. They retired this year. Uh, Peter Stone and his wife, Elaine, they, you know, they ran the company for 28 plus years. Um, it has recently been sold to or shifted over. I can't remember if it was sold or, but Volvo Artem actually took over the company. So they're going to keep everything the same. We're still going to get our horses. The website's still going to be the same. They're going to do design a horse. They're going to have the events. So it's just very exciting for Elaine and Peter Stone that they got this opportunity for retirement. And they did an Eras horse, so I will actually be getting one of those. They said it'd take about 90 to 120 days to receive. So when that horse comes, I will be getting that one as well. And then I have a Loyalty Club horse that somebody didn't want that they wanted to sell that I picked up that I'll unbox as well. But in the meantime, this is me and my Peter Stone herd. So let me know who was your favorite. Do you have any Peter Stones? Um, you know, do you are you looking for anybody specific? Um, cause they're out there. You can get them. It's just very, very hard. Cause they're only limited runs of 20 and 30 for the most part. So I would just have to say good luck and keep your search up. Do not give up on finding these, you guys. It took me forever to find Bloody Mary and I finally, finally found her. So, um, with that being said, happy snowy Saturday and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.